Guys, it had been three days. I barely even knew anyone's name and barely knew the estate I was working with. Still didn't even have passwords to things and I was asking myself, um, can I do this? And the larger that gap, the larger the degree of uncertainty or the larger the degree of doubt, right? It's because I wanted that for younger me. Like hey, what's up? I'm Adam. If you're new here and if you're a 10, then you know, what's good? Let's talk about self-doubt. Recently, I have been confronting the ways I deal with self-doubt and some of those feelings of a lack of confidence in my ability to do certain things. And that's because I've been noticing those feelings surface more frequently than I'm I'm happy with, if I'm being honest. And the thing about self-doubt is it can be flickering, right? It can mean just a moment, a second, a minute, and then you're kind of back on track, right? Your belief in your ability to be and achieve whatever it is you set out is there and it's restored. But sometimes self-doubt is a season and you find yourself questioning multiple things. You find yourself questioning your ability to do things sometimes that you were once even good at or once had full belief in your ability to do and get to and achieve. The other thing about self-doubt is it's often rearing its head when we're trying to push boundaries, when we're trying to be more, become more, right? achieve more. That is where self-doubt breeds effectively, where it flourishes. And so when I was taking stock of some of the things that I do, or some of the things I say to myself in order to move out of those seasons, I noticed that there were several really important questions that I had to ask myself and confront myself with in order to move past it. And I wanted to share those questions here with you guys. And the first question I asked myself is, what have I achieved so far, right? And this is objectively looking at the wins thus far. And the reason this is so important is I think we're always so focused on what we haven't achieved, what is yet to be achieved, that we forget about any steps we have already taken and any of the energy and skill and pretty much anything involved in those initial steps, whether the initial step was researching or take, for example, YouTube. I have been quite feeling quite uncertain about my channel or where it's going and things like that at times during the almost three or two and a half years that I've been on YouTube and you know whether I'm actually producing things of content and things like that of like substance things that people are finding useful and stuff am I really is this really meant for me and I had to ask myself what have you achieved so far and as I recall this video I'm just shy of 40,000 subscribers and however many counter videos I have up on my channel now and all the time and the effort and all of the amazing comments that I get, and all the people who message me directly or leave comments or even like a video. And yet I'm so focused on what I haven't achieved that I'm doubting whether this path is for me, whether I'm capable of doing something like YouTube at times. And this is why the importance of resetting your frame effectively from again, instead of scarcity and lack and feelings of inadequacy, instead feelings of abundance, right? Like I've already got to hear what's to stop me getting to the next point, the next phase, right? Think about it, if maybe you're on a fitness journey and you haven't seen the goals, you haven't seen the outcomes that you expected yet, right? Like perhaps you're not building as much muscle, perhaps you're not losing as much fat, perhaps whatever your fitness journey goals are, where have you come from? Like what are the wins already? And how can you use those wins to fuel and effectively provide evidence for the person you're becoming and the character that you are. So the second question I like to ask myself, and this is so important when doubt rears its head, is do I have a clearly defined plan rooted in evidence and data? Doubt or uncertainty, if you like, comes from the gap between where you are and where you want to be, right? And the larger that gap, the larger the degree of uncertainty or the larger the degree of doubt, right? It's not clear how I'm going to get from the point I am now, which is definite. I know where I am in the present, where I am on the scales or, you know, how much I'm lifting or where I am in my career or whatever it is where I am on my YouTube channel. Those things are known, a known fact right now. But in terms of where I want to get to, there's a gap. And so the only way I get there is through some sort of path, whether that be a it's not, often not linear and it involves ups and downs, but do I have a clearly defined plan to get there? All right, and to try to break down some of that uncertainty and self-doubt. And more importantly, if not, what do I need to do so that I can introduce more certainty into my life, into the plans that I have, into the person that I want to be and become? And right? if I want to become a more disciplined person, do I have a plan that is rooted in data and evidence, in research, whether that be books, whether that be videos, seminars I've been to, life experience, whatever? that can get me to that place, to being that person. So the third question I ask, and perhaps the one I ask myself most often just because of my personality type and my crippling perfectionism at times, is 
Is this genuine doubt or am I just being impatient? Have I given myself and the plans that I have created for myself enough time to flourish effectively? So I'll give you an example of this. I recently started a new job, a large salary increase from my previous job, a lot more, kind of more responsibilities in a different way. And in the first three days, I started to doubt whether I could do this job. Guys, it had been three days. I barely even knew anyone's name and barely knew the estate I was working with. Still didn't even have passwords to things. And I was asking myself, um, can I do this? And it's because of that person in me, or <laughs> that niggling feeling, that desire to be the best at everything instantly, or to suddenly know everything as soon as you get to the point, right? Like we're supposed to have it all figured out apparently. And it's supposed to be easy and <laughs> click like that on the first day. And at times it is like that for certain things you do. And at other times it's really not. And so I always have to ask myself this question. Perhaps you need to ask yourself the same things if you're feeling that sense of self doubt and a lack of confidence in your ability to be certain things or to achieve certain things. The next set of questions I like to ask myself are all related to why. Have I drifted from my why, my reasoning behind what I'm doing, what I'm doing? Do I still believe in the why? Maybe I'm uncertain or feeling doubtful about things because I don't understand why I'm doing them anymore. I don't believe in why I'm doing them or I've forgotten why I'm doing what I'm doing. So I'll use my YouTube example again. There have been times in my YouTube career, if you'd like, or YouTube journey where I have been unsure if the type of content that I'm producing is, is right or if people are interested in it. And that may be at times because I've seen other people's channels or other people's kind of content blow up and things like that. And in those moments, I forget my why. And one of the biggest reasons I started my YouTube channel and wanted to make videos that I did and didn't necessarily want to make a certain type of content, you know, give things that people could use to to change their lives or even if it was just an encouragement to make it look at different things they could do or whatever it is, is because I wanted that for younger me. Like I remembered being on YouTube, watching YouTube when I was younger and thinking, oh, I like this and I like that, but I feel like I'm a mix of a lot of things and there's a lot of things going on and I'd like someone to speak about. And of course there are people like that on YouTube, but I always wanted to offer a space for someone like younger me or older me. Um, and people who had similar interests or who didn't have similar interests, but you know, still were driven by desire to be the best version of themselves and to be, make the most of life effectively. Every time I come back to the why, every time I come back to that why, the, the doubt in what I'm doing, the doubt in my ability to achieve, it just goes away basically because that why is so strong and so powerful and it's often reinforced by the kind of feedback that I get as well about how the content that I make really is having an impact. So the next question I like to ask is, have I taken enough action? Sometimes self-doubt is mixed in with self-sabotage and you are having these feelings of not being able to achieve certain things or be certain things. And often it's because you're sabotaging yourself, right? Like, have you actually taken the steps required to be those things, to achieve those things? Are you acting enough effectively, right? Are you taking action? regularly are you sticking to the plan that you have created are you actualizing these things or are you doing nothing and then having doubt about why you can't achieve what you can achieve are you doubting yourself in your career because you haven't taken certain steps like you didn't pick up that book to find out more about being a devops engineer or enroll in that course and yet you're just sitting there kind of in this season of self-doubt but maybe it's just because you need to do more right and i have to ask myself this at times as well like okay, if I'm feeling like this about whatever it is, what can I be doing to help enrich that path towards that end goal, or towards what I wanna be and what I want to embody? Where? So I hope these questions have helped you if you're feeling any kind of self-doubt or doubt in your journey or doubt in whatever it is you're trying to achieve and become, then take these questions and ask them of yourself, you know, and be honest, be open, because there's no point, you know, being around the bush, like, have I taken enough action? And you're like, mm, uh, no, have you or have you not? You had a plan, have you taken enough action based on that plan? Are you being impatient? Are you expecting yourself to write, you know, the world's best code on the first day of your bootcamp? But yes, um, I will see you in the next video.